What's going on guys? Got a bunch of stuff to show you here. Um, we got a thrift store, library book sale, uh, yard sale, and then mail. So uh, today is Saturday uh, the 29th, 30th, 30th of August. So I got one piece of mail today, which really sucks. I'm expecting a little bit more considering we got a long weekend of no mail. But uh, didn't happen that way, so. so I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's got some plans uh, for the weekend. Gonna have some fun. Maybe cook out or something. Alright. Almost there, guys. So here's what we got. We got a book and a couple of cassette tapes. Um, this is a Facebook trade. Uh, I did this with my man John Scusa. We've done a few trades before. It's not really great out here today, but hopefully you guys can see this stuff. Uh, first up, we have the Necronomicon. Uh, yes, it's pretty much the same book, uh, or loosely based. Uh, the Book of Evil Dead was loosely based on this. Um, I used to have this when I was younger. Kind of cool having this back. Um, pretty sweet. It's in pretty nice condition. So maybe I can see if I can bring about the end of the world here later. But very cool. And I got some cassette tapes, which is funny. Because I got Necronomicon and I got uh, Blood Good. And this is a Christian metal band. Uh, I used to listen to them pretty hardcore back in the day. Um, let's see, this is 1986. Frontline Records. We got Soldiers of Peace on there. Pretty cool. So... Good stuff there, and then we got Twisted Sister come out and play. Awesome album here. I think I still have this uh, on vinyl. So, pretty cool to have the cassette of it. So there's the mail. Then I got this from the library book sale. I gave a dollar for it. This is the Tao of Muhammad Ali, as I drop it in the dirt. Uh, but this is by Davis Miller. Uh, there he is right there. You guys might have remembered I got a sign book uh, from him, The Tao of Bruce Lee. So he's also the, obviously the author of The Tao of Muhammad Ali. This is the audio book. Uh, I figured I'd pick that up for a buck. Can't beat that. Alright, yard sale. I got these today. We'll look at those in a minute. But this is thrift store stuff. I paid less than five bucks for everything in here, guys. First up, this is a Twilight Zone script. This is Script 5 Walking Distance by Rod Serling. And this was a uh, facsimile this is a facsimile of the actual script, and this was used in uh, some kind of film course uh, as far as writing how to write your own scripts. And it's got notes over there in the margins. So I thought that that was kind of interesting. Definitely worth a pickup. Love the Twilight Zone, so it's pretty cool. All right, uh, we got this, The Laughter. This is uh, from the Golden Age of Radio. This came out in the late 80s. It's the complete set of cassettes here. You got Amos and Andy, Charlie McCarthy, Eddie Cantor, uh, W.C. Fields, Jack Carson and Jack Benny, Lum and Abner. This was uh, released in 1988. So it's the complete set of cassettes. Very awesome. Uh, we got some books here and some nice old vintage books. First up, we got Great Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. And this came out in 1962, fifth printing. Nice old paperback. Uh, then we have Prose Poems by Khalil Gibran, or Gibran, I'm not sure how you say his name. Uh, but he is the book. He's the author of the famous book, The Prophet, which has been reprinted thousands of times, it seems. Uh, but this is a... Oh, I think it's the third edition of this book. Second printing. 
August 1944. That's kind of cool. Got some nice uh, pictures in here. So I figured I'd pick that up. Boy, the light out here sucks. Got Back to the Future 2, the uh, movie novelization, movie tie-in. It's awesome. Always pick those up when you see those guys because they're getting harder and harder to find and getting to be worth a lot of money, especially the horror ones. All right, then we got this book here. This is cool. I've had this book a few times over. Uh, as you can see, it comes with the onion skin uh, little dust jacket there, but this is Clausen's Commentaries on Morals and Dogmas. And this is a Freemasonry book, guys. Uh, this is the third printing of 40,000 copies from 1979. Usually had pretty good success selling these books. Like I said, the price I paid for everything in this bag, I'm gonna, I should be making a good profit on this, especially with the onion skin cover, because they usually don't have that because it's so fragile. But I paid a quarter a piece for these books, if that gives you any idea. So, and you know, wait till you see these next ones. Just insane. Okay, so, I got a couple books here by the late, great Don Blanding. He is an author and poet. Died in 1957. Uh, born in Oklahoma, but lived quite a bit of his life in, in uh, Hawaii. Uh, these, this first book is mostly California. He has written and illustrated it. This one came out in 1948. Just a beautiful book. Um, great pictures. Awesome poetry inside. Just amazing. Very cool. Uh, I do have a book that's signed by uh, Don Blanding called Vagabond's House. So then when I saw these, I was like, oh, these are cool. Well, this one is actually signed as well. You've got a little doodle right there. And it says, Aloha, joy to you, Don Blanding. Now, I found this one first, so I quickly opened up the other one. I was hoping it to be signed as well, but it was not. But that's all good. So this is his book, Joy is an Inside Job. And there's Mr. Don Blanding right there. Signing books, actually. And, again, illustrations by the author. This one is 1956, sixth printing. Again, great pictures. Um, awesome words and poetry in here. So, great stuff by, uh, by Don Blanding. Awesome books. And then, uh, last but not least, we have Enjoyment of Laughter by Max Eastman. Uh, again, another author and poet, and also a big-time political activist. Open this up, and it is signed for May Ramsey, Max Eastman. And this book was obtained, here's a provenance here, lecture entitled, Why We Laugh Like Human Beings. Central High, Tulsa, Oklahoma, April 20th, 1940. Max Eastman died in 1969. There's a bunch of his books that he's written there. This is by Halicon House, 7th printing, 1939. Very thick book here. Uh, it does have photographs and drawings. Lots of uh, funny stuff. There's a nice cartoon there. So, just awesome. Really a pleasure finding vintage signed books, and especially for a quarter a piece. Just amazing. So now to my lackluster thrift sale or uh, yard sale finds. Uh, this was all from one yard sale. We got the Perfect Getaway DVD. Nice horror thriller here. This was a buck. Starring Mila Jovovich and Timothy Oliphant. Got some videos. These were 50 cents a piece. This is the Continental Divide by John Belushi. I'm hoping this is going to be something rare and valuable. Don't know yet. Haven't done the research. Van Damme, The Quest. Also starring Roger Moore. It's a pretty good movie. And Tremors. Kevin Bacon, Fred Ward, Reba McIntyre, uh, and Michael Gross. 
from Family Ties, I think, TV show. Uh, great, great film. Um, love the sequels too, but nothing beats the original, of course. And then we got a bunch of cassette tapes. These are, I gave $3 to her for all the cassette tapes. Black Sabbath, Live at Last, and this is uh, made in Ireland, which is kind of cool. I wish it had the box. Uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival, Chronicle. Eagles, Greatest Hits. Confederate Railroad. Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. Guns N' Roses, Use Your Illusion. White Snake, self-titled. Last but not least, ACDC Live. So some okay stuff, but I was really hoping for a lot more. Uh, but that's it, guys. It's everything. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. See you.